Ooh, oh, was that a little pinch? Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, okay, wow, that was a, wow, that was a really good pinch. Take a look at that, folks. Pretty gnarly, huh? Is that a bite? Is that a bite? Ooh, yep, okay, I felt it there. We're at about four and a half hours, and it is pretty much excruciating pain. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre or deadly life forms on Earth deserve respect and appreciation. Now this has brought me face to face with the bites of North America's most feared spiders. Now I know what you're thinking. Did I get any superpowers from this? Sadly, I was not lucky enough, but I was able to showcase some really interesting results. I've endured not only the tissue dissolving bite of the infamous brown recluse, but the excruciating neurotoxic bite of the black widow. Now, which bite is worse? Let's take a look and decide for ourselves. First, let's dive into the bites I've taken from the brown recluse. These secretive spiders are not aggressive, but due to their nature, they find themselves inside human dwellings constantly. There are many reports that these animals can cause massive rotting holes in your flesh, cause limbs to rot and be in danger of falling off, and perhaps even death. Is there any validity to these claims? Let's take a look. Hello, everyone, and welcome back again to Jack's World of Wildlife, and of course, welcome back again to a brown recluse bite video. Now, you may be going, what? What did he just say? A brown recluse bite video? Don't those like melt your arms off and, and shoot your family and leave you for dead in a ditch after they steal your kidneys and sell them on the black market? Common mistake. No, that's wrong. Brown recluse are common spiders across the southern United States. They kind of stretch around a little bit into the east. Not quite as common as some people would have you believe, and not quite the deadly adversary that others might claim them to be. This little spider here is one of the most feared venomous spiders in North America. Why? I couldn't tell you. Doctors, nurses, misidentifying wounds, gigantic bacterial infections run rampant have caused such a horrible, horrible reputation for these spiders. Is it deserved? No! Why don't you get bit then? Okay, I will, I have, and I'll do it again. Putting it on your face was reckless. You could get really hurt. So don't, where is it, on the back of my head? No, it's right there. Oh, my badge. I was awarded the Got a Brown Recluse to Bite Me badge in Boy Scouts today. All right, enough of that. Let's uh, let's pin this spider, shall we? You guys have come for the show. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll give you what you want. Oh. Ooh, oh, was that a little pinch? Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, okay, wow, that was a... Wow, that was a really good pinch. Ow. Huh. 
All right, I'll let you go. Ooh, interesting. Wow, actually, that was a little pinch. I'm surprised. That hurt a lot more than my other one. So it bit me right in there. <gasps> oh, God. Pretty sure the other one bit me while I was filming. Oh, no. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse, ground zero, right here in this little forest was me. Anyway, you can see it's a little bit pink, just to verify that I was bitten, so all the naysayers could say, hey, that didn't really bite you. If it was a real bite, you would have died already. No, sadly, sorry. I try and keep it over here, but it was in my hair. I'm follically blessed, so it might be a little hard to see. Let's see, it's right in there. Little hair, I'll move some of this hair out of the way. Got me right there. How sweet of her. Make sure, simple wound care. That's all you gotta do, okay? Now, I will note, should you believe you've been bitten by a brown recluse and in actuality have a horrible gangrenous bacterial infection that is super far along, please seek medical help. This is not a video to excuse actual serious bacterial infections that could become life-threatening or threatening of a limb. Please go to the doctor. But in terms of actually, truly what happens with a brown recluse spider bite, stick around. We're gonna find out. One last look. There she is, right next to her, her art piece. Wow, take a look at this, folks. This is about, I don't know, I'm gonna say 30 minutes after the initial envenomation. You can see there that kind of whiter spot is the epicenter. I am really excited to see how this plays out. This seems to be a little more severe than my first envenomation. However, I'm not expecting too many serious or complicated results. I'm thinking we're going to see more of the same, maybe with a few add-ons, because this does appear to be a severe envenomation, but you can see this huge red patch is what you're going to see. So if you're just seeing a small little raised red bump, uh, there's a very real chance that that was a mosquito or maybe an infected pore or follicle and not, in fact, a brown recluse bite, because look at that, that is a full red patchy mess almost almost rash like in some areas very interesting now unlike my first brown recluse bite in this test we actually did see some measured necrosis that's what this dark patch is those are dead skin cells that have been destroyed by the spider's venom once again not that black rotting tissue that you typically see in a quote unquote brown recluse bite. So this kind of necrotic tissue stuck around for quite some time, as you can see, uh, over the course of a few weeks. Look at the redness and the blister was here and it has since popped. The spider sitting on top of the, uh, whoa, the <laughs> wheel bug uh, bite scar. Take a look at that, folks. Pretty gnarly, huh? Now, I have not needed to take any prescription antibiotics or go to the doctor or go to the emergency room or do anything other than how you might treat a mild body flu, um, which is going to be typical um, in the treatment of a severe Loxacellus reclusa envenomation, much like this one. Now, I will mention should you experience severe necrotic cavities developing in your skin or in or around your person, please go to the doctor. Just because I'm saying brown recluses are harmless does not mean that whatever people call brown recluse bites are not indeed dangerous. These are likely extremely rampant bacterial infections that do need to be addressed immediately. So not the poor fault of our lovely little spiders here, but rather nefarious bacteria. So once again, take a look at that. 
not really any other symptoms other than this little patch here. So I'm gonna just still keep it clean, keep it good, but I have a feeling that we are circling the finish line and that this will soon be nothing more than a good video and a fun story. Long time no see, folks. Sorry I haven't been updating, it's just been boring. It's not really done much other than heal now. Uh, this is day 23. So as you can see, almost fully healed up. Looks like there'll be some mild scarring, but we didn't really get to see any of that black rotting necrosis that so many attribute to these brown recluse spiders. Of course now the planes choose to fly overhead and the dog chooses to shake for my lovely audio. But super, super interesting. Um, not really as serious as many would lead you to believe. Our next stop is the bite of the dangerous black widow. These animals are quite timid in nature and very unlikely to bite, but for those unlucky enough to be bitten, it is an experience you won't soon forget. Their venom contains potent neurotoxin that binds itself to your pain receptors, bombarding your body with pain bordering on excruciating. Is this preferable to the tissue damage of a severe brown recluse bite? I'll let you be the judge. Let's take a look. Welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, we've had a recent success because we were able to film a brown recluse bite video. And so far, it's been pretty positively received which is good, I like that. I like to change people's minds and show them what actually happens so that maybe in their mind, in their mind's eye, they don't see these animals as monsters anymore. Now as a follow-up video, I've decided to showcase a little more of a well-known spider. Now what I have in this little plastic container is Latrodectus mactans, which is more commonly referred to as the Southern Black Widow. Now this is a little female here, and we are going to show you all what exactly all the Black Widow bite in cases. So what we are going to do is I'm gonna pop this gal out, and you can come a little closer for this one. So you can see here, we've got our little friend. Ooh, ooh. She's a little startled, but very, very nice looking spider. Now black widows have a very strong web, which she's actually already been depositing on my hand. You can see she's crawling back and forth. So she's just trying to get her bearings, figure out what is going on. But you can see for the most part, again, she's very docile. Uh, she's not being aggressive. She's just trying to figure out what's going on trying to figure out where she wants to go. See that hourglass? Nice. Thank you for cooperating. Uh, but again, these are primarily nervous spiders. They will typically try to run away at any circumstance uh, of danger. All right, so without further ado, I think, I think we're getting ready to try the Black Widow bite. Oof. We're gonna try it. Oh, oh, is that a bite? Is that a bite? Oh, yep, okay, I felt it there. Gonna see if she, oh, yep, okay. Okay. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, that does hurt a little bit. Yeah, look, look, you can see that her fangs are inside of me. There. Oh, there she goes, she released. All right, so she bit me right there. I will say not immediate pain, but it is definitely starting to roller coaster. Black Widow bite. Yep, okay. So it's starting to get pretty painful here. So again, neurotoxin that's telling my body, ouch, owie, that really hurts. Don't make Black Widows bite you again. Now, 
I will say, right now, you're probably at home going, what the heck, dude, that's crazy, man. Why would you let a black widow bite you like that, huh? And I'm gonna tell you right now, there has never been a recorded death from a United States, North America species of Latrodectus. Okay, it's uh, 6 a.m. I didn't sleep at all because the pain is just terrible. You might get a tummy ache. My lower back is like the most painful it's ever been in my entire life. You might feel a little dizzy. I have a headache, my joints hurt, everything's achy. So I'm taking a Epsom salt bath to see if that'll do anything before I try anything else. Your arm might hurt, but you are not going to die. Now I will mention that this is probably an extreme case, mostly because the Black Widow was biting me for so long. Typically they'll just bite and release. Um, that one was a little smaller, so I thought it probably didn't, wasn't gonna have that much of a venom yield and I needed to make sure that it latched on for a little bit longer and I now realize that this was a miscalculation on my part. Killing right now. <laughs> it's pretty. Mm. So, it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. My back hurts. Can't really walk, so I'm gonna lay down. Um, swelling's down. This should just be the pain taking its course, but. How bad does it hurt? Like, on a scale like 1 to 10? Yeah. <laughs> probably, like, probably like a 9. <laughs> oh like, God. just general pain. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> we're at about four and a half hours. And it is pretty much excruciating pain. Uh, I cannot sleep. I cannot lay down. Um, it's, and you can see it's a little bit red. If you can see that on the camera. Um, my lower back is just killing me. My joints are killing me. Uh, I mean, it's pretty painful. Um, I took some ibuprofen and I'm gonna drink some water. And I will update tomorrow, but yeah, it's probably, I mean, as far as like full body pain, probably the worst pain out of any bite or sting I've had. So it's pretty bad, but uh, I mean, what you gonna do? Uh, it's not gonna kill me, but just don't get bitten by Black Widow. They won't bite because they're docile, but if you do get bitten, get like <laughs> some pain meds or something because, whew, let me tell you, it is a roller coaster, a rodeo, if you will. Uh, but, um, <laughs> I'm gonna try and get some water and lay back down, but, uh, lay back down, but. So, I'll update tomorrow. Hopefully, all this will be gone and my body will have bounced back from the brink. Because this is no bueno. But anyway, thanks for, for tuning into my TED Talk. Oh, okay. Okay, team. So, uh, it's been about 28 hours after the initial bite. You can see right there, still pink. Um, all in all, long story short, it's terrible. Um, I had to take ibuprofen, I had to take painkillers, I was pretty much in bed all day today. Um, could barely sleep. Um, I did not have to go to the hospital, but um, it was pretty painful. Again, like I mentioned before, um, that's most likely due to the fact that it was latching on for so long. 
Uh, typically, Black Widow is just going to bite and release, but again, I thought this one was a little too small, so I was trying to make sure that it did envenomate me, um, and I ended up getting probably about two or three times the amount I would have normally gotten. So, that being said, um, my uh, symptoms probably lasted a lot longer. Uh, anything from, I mean, joint pain, my lower back was just excruciating, uh, I have a terrible headache right now, my arm still hurts, my neck kind of hurts, but, um, other than that, I'm still alive, um, I just had kind of a trashy day, it was very painful, um, and I don't throw that around very lightly, I mean, you've seen me take all sorts of stings from all sorts of things. Um, this is worse than any insect sting I've ever had. So, not necessarily like initial pain, but just like general pain everywhere for, I mean, close to about 13 hours of just continuous, just bodily aching, excruciating pain um, was what I endured. And we didn't get a whole lot of that on video because it's just me laying in bed going, oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. so I'm just going to recap. Just imagine in your mind's eye what it would look like, because it was just me looking pretty pitiful. These spiders are not aggressive. Um, again, you saw from the video, if you've watched all the way to this part, congratulations, I'm proud of you. If you watched all the way through this video, you saw in the, in the first half, when I'm handling the spider, let's handle it for a good 10 minutes without it doing anything. Until I had to pin it onto my skin to get it to bite me. Um, but, all in all, we had a good time. I didn't. Hopefully you did. Without further ado, hope you enjoyed the video. So, stay safe. Do not try this at home. For your sake, trust me, it's not fun. <laughs> As you can see, a bite from either of these animals isn't going to take your life. Neither are enjoyable in the slightest, but there's one clear winner in my book. In my opinion, having endured my fair share of bites and stings over the years, the Black Widow easily takes the cake. The potent neurotoxin will lay you out for a week with body aches and pain. I'd much rather deal with the localized skin damage from a brown recluse bite than writhe in agony for hours on end. Now, one thing that's nice is that these spiders have no interest in biting, so as long as we give them their space, we will find ourselves out of danger. Remember, the world is full of life. Some of it may be creepy or dangerous, but that does not mean it's just here to harm us or scare us. These bizarre or venomous animals serve a role in their environment and are here for an important reason. It's our job to understand that these animals deserve the same amount of respect and appreciation that we afford to other organisms on this planet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to support the channel further by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Also, consider joining our memberships or Patreon today. Thanks for your view, and I'll see you next time.